सूर्याय नमः ओ सूर्याय नमः ओ I am Karna, the son of the charioteer Adhirath, and I sit here by the bank of holy Ganges to worship the setting sun. Tell me who you are. I am the woman who first made you acquainted with that light you are worshipping. I do not understand, but your eyes melt my heart like the kiss of the morning sun melts the snow on a mountain top, and your voice rouses a blind sadness within me, of which the cause may lie well beyond my earliest memory. Tell me, strange woman, what mystery? binds my birth to you. Patience, my son. I will answer when the lids of darkness come down over the prying eyes of the day. In the meanwhile, know that I am Kunti. Kunti! The mother of Arjun! Yes, indeed, the mother of Arjun, your antagonist. But do not therefore hate me. I still remember that day of the trial of arms in Hastina, when you, an unknown boy, stepped boldly into the arena, like the first ray of dawn among the stars of night. Ah. Who was that unhappy woman whose eyes kissed your bare, slim body? Through tears that blessed you, where she sat among the women of the royal household behind the Aras? Why, the mother of Arjun? And then, the Brahmin? Master of arms stepped forth and said, No youth of mean birth may challenge your tune to the trial of strength. You stood speechless, like a thunder cloud at sunset, flashing with an agony of suppressed light. But who was that unhappy woman? whose heart caught fire with your shame and anger and flared up in silence. The mother of a June. Praise be Duryodhan, who perceived your worth and then and there crowned you the king of Anga. And thus winning a champion for the code of us. Overwhelmed at this good fortune, Adirat, the charioteer, broke through the crowd and you instantly rushed to him and laid your crown at his feet. Among the cheering laughter of the Pandava brothers and their friends. But no, there was one woman in the Pandava house whose heart glowed with joy at the heroic pride of such humility. Even the mother of Arjun. 
But what brings you here, mother of kings? I have a boon to crave. Command me. Whatever my manhood and my honor as a Kshatriya permit shall be offered at your feet. I have come to take you. Where? To my breast, thirsting for your love, my son. Fortunate mother of five brave kings, where can you find a place for a small chieftain of lowly descent? Your place is before all my other sons. But what rights have I got to take it? Your own God-given right to your mother's love. The gloom of the evening spreads over the earth and the silence rests on the water and your voice, your voice leads me back to some primal world of infancy lost in toilet consciousness. Whether this be a dream or a fragment of forgotten reality, come, come near me, place your right hand on my forehead. Rumor runs that I was deserted by my mother when I was young. Many a night she came to me in my slumber. But when I cried, open your veil, show me your face, her figure always, always vanished. Has the same dream come true while I wake? See? Yonder the lamps are lighted at your son's tents across the river. And on this side, behold the tendons of Kauravas, like the suspended waves of a spell arrested storm at sea. Before the din of tomorrow's battle, in this awful hush of the field where it must be fought, why, why should the voice of the mother of my opponent, Arjun, brings me a message of forgotten motherhood? And why, why my name takes such a music from a tongue so as to draw me to him and his brothers? Then delay not, my son. Come with me. Yes, I will. Never ask a question and never doubt because my soul responds to your call. The struggle for victory and fame and the rage of hatred have suddenly become untrue to me like the delirious dream of the night to the serenity of the dawn. Tell me, whither you mean to lead? To the other bank of the river, where those lamps burn across the ghastly pallor of the sands. Am I there to find my lost mother forever? Oh, my son. Then why? Why did you banish me? Like a castaway. Uprooted from his ancestral soil, adrift in a homeless current of indignity. Why? Why set a bottomless chasm between Arjun and myself, turning a natural attachment of kinship into a dreaded attraction of hate? You remain speechless. Your shame permeates this vast darkness and sends an invisible <laughs> shiver through my limbs. Leave my question unanswered. Never tell me what made you rob your own son, his mother's love. Just tell me why have you come today to take me back to the ruins of heaven, wrecked by your own hands? <laughs> Dogged by a curse more deadly than your reproaches. For though surrounded by five sons, my heart shrivels like that of a woman deprived of children. Through that great rent that yawned for my deserted firstborn, all my life's pleasures have run to waste. 
on that accursed day when I belied my motherhood, you could not utter a word. But today, your recreant mother implores you for generous words. Let your forgiveness burn her heart like fire and consume its sin. Mother, accept my tears. But I did not come here hoping to win you back to my arms, but to restoring your rights to you. Come and receive as a king's son your due among your brothers. I am more truly the son of a charioteer and therefore do not covet the glory of a greater parentage. Be as it may, but come and win back the kingdom which is rightfully yours. Must you? Must you, who once refused me a mother's love, tempt me with a kingdom? The quick kindred bond that you have severed at its root is dead and will never grow again. Shame where mine should I hasten to call mother of king's mother and abandon my own mother in the charioteer's house. You are great, my son. How God's punishment invisibly grows a tiny seed to a giant life. The helpless babe, disowned by his mother, comes back a man through the dark maze of events to smite his brothers. Mother, have no fear because I know for certain that the victory awaits Pandava. Peaceful and still though this night be, my heart is full of the music of hopeless venture and a battle's end. Please, Please do not ask me to leave those who are doomed to defeat. Let Pandavas win the throne, since they must. I remain with the desperate and forlorn. On the night of my birth, you left me naked and unnamed to disgrace. Leave me once more without pity to the calm expectation of defeat and death. <laughs>